don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today I thought I would do something that I don't often do as a video content uh, and that is do an art journal flip through. So this flip through is going to be on my mission inspiration art journal that I did for last year. So this is the one that I put all of my mission inspiration projects into, well most of, I'll say 95% of my mission inspiration projects into for 2019. I am doing the same thing again this year um, but it's in a different style journal, not a ring journal like this one. Uh, I'm doing all of my mission inspiration main ones in a circle journal that I created specifically for the task. So this was the one for January 2020 and the uh, mid-month mini missions I'm doing in um, my tag journal and that was the mid-month mini mission for January 2020. So I will have two journals, one for the mid-month minis and one for the main one for 2020. In 2019 I did the same uh, pages for the mid-month as I did for the main, if you get my drift. Mostly. Um, now I say mostly because in June, for some strange reason, I did an art tag, which I will share with you in a minute. January's mid-month mini, I can't find it. It's not in here and I can't find it in any of, me, any other of my journals. Now it's unusual for me not to have done the January mid-month mini because it's from the song quote for January was um, show me the colour of your right hand which is in a, a Eurythmics line or a line from a Eurythmics song um, and seeing as that's one of my favourite bands ever I would have done that one and I can't find it and the only other one that's missing is October now the reason I didn't do one for October is because I did two projects one Halloween and one not Halloween so I'd already done two for October so I didn't do the mid-month mini for October so two missing January and October June's isn't in here because it's in a tag journal which I will show you in a minute so without further ado the covers again so this art journal is handmade um, it's an 8 by 8 obviously it's got fairly rigid covers and it's just held together by book rings. I tend to decorate the book rings once the journal is finished so I'll do that um, probably while I'm watching TV one night. I'll, I'll add in um, jute and string and that kind of stuff. Manly stuff rather than lady kind of stuff as in laces and that kind of thing. Don't want to add any of that. I'll probably add in hemp twine and, and stuff like that and torn pieces of fabric uh, and I'll put safety pins and cogs and that kind of stuff on those rings. But anyway, I digress. So let's go straight into the page for January. Now, so let's have a look at the prompts for January. So we had use old map fragments, add at least one suggested colour, add stamping, threads or fibres, spritz or spray colour, add a triptych of focal points, meaning three, <laughs> and a phrase or word or poem and add journaling or handwritten text. So let's just have a, let's take it out of the journal and dissect this page. Let's dissect it. Okay, that's something else you don't often see as well. A clean worktop, totally clean worktop. Okay, so we had um, old map fragments. So in the background, you can see fragments of what looks like an old London map. Yeah, looks like it's an old London map. So I've torn fragments up and stuck those down. Add at least one cut, one suggested colour. So the amber, that's the main background colour. There's also some green colour in there as well. But obviously the highlights are in the red, which are the three colours, the ruby, emerald and amber. Um, stamping. Where have we stamped? Well, we've stamped here. This looks like it was done with one of the Dina Wakeley stamps. Yes. Add threads or fibres. Well, on the tag, we've got Baker's twine wrapped around the tag. Spritz or spray colour onto your page. Looks as though I've probably spritz or sprayed or splattered 
the white. Um, triptych of focal points, so you've got three faces, which is Dina Wakely collage paper. Uh, add a word or phrase, well I've added the word story, which is one of the words for inspiration, which is why it's ringed, and then add journaling or handwritten text. So I've added um, some illegible text onto the bottom of the art journal. So that was all of the eight ingredients, the three colours and the word. Um, fairly simplish kind of page. I'm trying to read what I've put. No, can't really make it out. But that's what illegible, illegible text is all about. So, and there's also stump, some on that um, around the, the tag, the, the circle stamping as well. So that was January. So that was the mission inspiration for Jan. It might be easy if I just put these back in later, maybe. Who knows? Okay, so next one we've got February. Jimmy Dean. Can't go wrong. Okay, so February we've got used torn fragments from a newspaper this time. So we've got newspaper fragments in the background. Um, add doodles with black or white pen. So doodles. So we've got those mid-century modern kind of doodles. Stick down washi tape or ribbon strips. So the washi tape is here, here. And I think there's some underneath there as well. Um, make mats with a card or straight edge. Well, that's where those black lines are for. That's what, how, what I did with that. Uh, add a quote, word or phrase, cut from magazines or paper. Mm. I think I cheated then and used the Tim Holtz. <laughs> yes, I used the Tim Holtz ones, the chit chat ones. Uh, scrape paint onto your page. Well, you can see the turquoise paint in there. Oh, there's green washi tape in there as well, look, and blue. Missed those, because they just blended in so well. <laughs> he says, add triangle shapes. Well, we've got triangle shapes with the washi tape. And add drips or splatters in metallic paint or ink. And if I tilt it, you can see that there is silver paint splattered across the page. There you go. That washi tape's kind of shiny as well. The blue triangular one. But there you go. And then I've got my focal point of James Dean coming in from the right hand side of the page. And obviously there's a doodled border all the way around there as well. So turquoise lime and grey. Turquoise lime and grey, because we've got that as the main colour. Used all those and then play. It was one of the words for inspiration. Remember to play. So that was for Feb. February 2019. So the next one would have been, I think this was the first one of the mid-month minis. Shine bright like a diamond. So we've got a nice little rainbow prism coming in. Light coming in. And that's been diffused into a prism, so shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, there you go. And of course, I did go over it with shiny stuff. Um, what looks like um, Wink of Stella, because the mica particles in there are really, really, really fine. So, and there's also some in the background some splatters in the background as well of oh, shiny stuff. So that was the mid-month mini mission for Feb. So going on to March. Got a shabby sheet colours on this one. So we've got March. Natural fibre, string jute or burlap. Yep, between the beaks. Use fragments of food packaging labels. So what did I use? I actually used the die cuts on uh, a box that had tea bags in. Was it no, fondue? There you go, fondue. It was a fondue box. Um, so it melted cheese. So I die cut the shapes from that food packaging. Um, add texture with paste or paint through a stencil. So we've stenciled oh, paste here in the bottom right, uh, bottom right hand corner, and then stenciled as well. Um, stamp with white ink or paint. Yep, 
I've stamped, you can just see the white there and across the top there, so that must have been with white paint and then you've got the white coming in from the writing on the packaging which is quite nice, I like the way that kind of um, continues through. Uh, add a die cut or two or three, well die cutted, I combined that and also with the leaf, Tim Holtzy foliage one is it? Probably. I'm trying to think which one it could be, tattered florals, yeah probably tattered florals um, or something and again that was done out of the, um, the food packaging. Um, add a border with book text or washi tape, so I've gone round the border with um, book text washi tape. <laughs> uh, add gesso mixed with a colour, so I've done that on the actual birds themselves, so I've diffused the actual background colours of the birds by putting the paint on top mixed with the gesso um, and add handwritten text a quote or a phrase so we've got bloom growth and heart give your heart the chance to bloom and grow there we go it says handwritten text so I've used a handwritten font I know artistic license what can I say um, and then I've obviously added my handwritten name and the date yeah don't shoot me. Don't judge me. Okay, so the next one then. Uh, this will be the mid-month mini mission for March, which was up about up above the streets and houses, a rainbow climbing high. I remember that one. There you go, because that was from a the theme song from a children's program um, that I grew up with here in the UK. One called Rainbow, hence the rainbow in the background, and it mentions the rainbow there. So, and I did what looks like some whimsical houses, um, and then wherever you may wander, there's no place like home. So those houses are just cut out of book text and bits of ephemera, and then I've drawn over the top to create the houses, which is cute, whimsical, and cute. Okay, now, frightening one, this one. So what's this one? This is for April. So the colours for there were coral, mint, and craft. Coral's gone a bit dark, so we've got stamp a pattern all over, so the coffee rings with stamps all over, scrape paint across the page, so I've obviously scraped the paint, the green paint, which is supposed to be the mint, that's lighter, a lot lighter isn't it? Add small paper shapes, cut, torn or die cut, small paper shapes, so the three arrows, so the three arrows are die cut, more paper shapes, make holes in your page. Oh, yes, across the top, if you look, I've cut holes or used a punch to die cut holes and then threaded paper through the top and the bottom to create that border. Um, draw or paint a face or fragments of one. Yeah, okay. Add just one word as a focal point vision and I've used self-adhesive domed letters for that which were cheap from local um, home store here in the UK. The range if anybody's interested. Um, just add one word, so add journaling or illegible text. So we've got journaling and illegible text across the top. I'm not even going to bother trying to read it and add something metallic or shiny. Well there you go, you can see the shine on those letters. So it's okay to combine it's okay to combine. And then we've got vision as the first word for inspiration and that's the word I've gone for on there. So can I read? Don't know what I'm doing, just made it all up, yes. One of these days people will realise I don't know what I'm doing and just make it all up. That's what I've written at the bottom. One of, one of these days people will realise I don't know what I'm doing and just make it all up. <laughs> the fear of being found out. I love it. Absolutely love it. So sometimes your illegible text can be reread later. Okay, so let's move on. So that was for April. <laughs> I like it. So April's uh, mid-month mini again was a song lyric this time from the Pet Shop Boys I wouldn't normally do this sort of thing from one of their hits um, 
and I've used a foam stamp, a foamy, that I picked up from Diane Reevely's. Um, love the shape and it stamps so well. So I've cut like figures out of dictionary papers. So three kind of abstract figures, but they're not really abstract because you can tell what they are. So they're kind of silhouette figures, but they've got the book text in there. And I've stuck those down over the top and then I've gone around and over the top with what looks like a Stabilo all pencil. And then again, I've had, so what have I done, what have I put there? I wouldn't normally do this kind of thing. I've done it twice, I've written it twice on there, which I wouldn't normally do that kind of thing. Um, cutting shapes out, like figures like that, yeah, it is kind of like a, an art journal staple, but it's not one that I tend to do very often. I think I've only ever done it maybe two or three times in the years that I've been art journaling. But yeah, I kind of liked that intense blue background with the turquoise and the orange as a colour combo. And then I've gone around with the black as a, fr as a frame with that Stabilo wall again. And then I've added white faux stitching all the way around. Kind of like that, kind of like that. And then for May, we went into Whimsy. We went into Whimsy with those three characters. So for May, we've got Sky Blue, Sunshine and Red Apple, some nice primaries. Um, and then we've got Dab Paint over your page with a sponge, which I've done, which you can see the deeper ones. Add texture paste, so we've got texture paste here and here and here. So we've got three bits of texture paste there, creating a visual triangle which draws the eye from the edge across the page and then back down again. So you see everything, yeah. Create drips and runs with colour. So I think I've used Brusho pigment powders for that and I've dropped the pigments on and I've activated them with water. Um, Add or glue book text words or scripts. So we've got those three blocks of book text. Add three or five matching focal points. So I've got my three whimsical kind of um, romper suited characters and I've coloured each one into the main three colours that are for the mission. Add highlights or shadows, so we've got shadows around there and underneath, and just down the sides there. Add journaling or leave a space for later. So journaling or leave a space for later, the space up there as well. So let those who wander the eternal path of the imagination find peace in their hearts. I like that, I don't know where it came from there. Um, add a border frame or surround. So I've done a scribbly border all the way around the page. Um, I haven't ticked where it says add journaling or leave a space for later. I haven't ticked it. So I'm wondering whether or not that's because I haven't actually done any handwritten journaling on there. I obviously thought that I hadn't done it. Um, the words for inspiration, wonder, peace and heart, I've incorporated into that quote. So the quote obviously is from me. I tend to make up quotes when I want to use one, one or two. So I'll come up with a kind of pithy line. So that's probably what I did for May. Mission accomplished, says me. Okay, so May, what have we got here? Okay, so this was just after Doris Day had died, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was in May. So, and this was taken from one of her songs, um, Heaven Opens Its Portals to Me. Kind of plain and simple, we are stardust. Kind of probably how I was feeling at the time. So I created a swirl in paint, so white and then with shades of blue getting lighter and lighter towards the outside. And then I've splattered it with gold paint. It does shine, there you go, there's the shine. And then painted a ground for my two characters, um, we are stardust, which again, I think is another quote from another song. I'm not sure which one. I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments below. Um, and then the silhouettes are paper dolls, which I flipped over and painted black. So again, people were kind of surprised at that. Um, another use for your paper dolls. Yeah, turn them into silhouettes. Turn them over, paint the backs. Simples, as we say. <laughs> right, so June. So this is the one where we're missing the mid-month mini. 
but not missing it I did it somewhere else so and again a nice kind of pastel -y, florally kind of affair again using a paper doll been using so many paper dolls this year um, I've still got loads left anyway so the colours were lilac banana and mint green lilac banana mint green and the words were bloom roses blossom garden and leaves so I went with bloom she blooms and then so I look at the ingredients was add a thin wash of paint or gesso which I must have done over the underneath add texture paste to a stencil so we've got the two lovely kind of um, sprigs. I'm not sure what the stencil is or where it's from. Sorry, forgotten. But it looks as though I've actually flipped it. So I've done one 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 side, and then I flipped the stencil over, and then done the other. Um, oh, the PayPal notification. Ian's just paid me post at the post office using PayPal. I love PayPal. Um, so that. And then we've got make marks with household items. So what have I made marks with? That's a household item. Now I noticed that there is a circle around there. So I'm wondering whether I've put something down and then created a mask with the household item and then sprinkled over the top. Um, add your focal image or images. There you go. So die cuts. And then I've added her. Never got round to putting the medium over the top, did I? Um, add sparkle on metallic paint. Well, there you've got your sparkles around there, which are like your dust motes. Border of choice. So I've done my faux kind of wiggly one that I like doing. Add a quote or word. She blooms. And then finish with spatters or drips. So I've combined again um, the metallic and that one. So I've combined two of those ingredients into the page as one. Can't see where the household items are though unless that's what that circle was. Hmm. But anyway, it's a kind of cute one. What I should have done was coloured in the dress in lilac. Something to come back to maybe at a later date, if I remember. Now, the mid-month mini for June um, was paper roses, paper roses, or oh, how Real those roses seem to me. Marie Osmond. Now this one was set, if I remember rightly, by Linda, my friend Linda Simpson, back in June. Um, and she loves the roses, so I did the mid-month mini on a tag. Because I knew I wanted to do something with loads of dimension. There you go. Something with lots and lots and lots. I and mean, if you look at that on side view, I mean look how deep it is. And again, it was done on corrugated cardboard as well. So you can see all the grungy and the um, the, the cor corrugations in the cardboard there. So it's a nice kind of tactile um, mixed media art tag. So that was for June. So July, carrying on with the theme of the birdies, well birdies, animals, if you like, florally kind of thing. So let's flip over and see what we've got for July. So we've got Lagoon, Orange and Teal. Lagoon, Orange and Teal. Nice. Um, cover your page with newspaper or print. Yep, in the background I can just see the still book text or newspaper print showing through. I've actually covered the entire page and then painted over the top, but there's still areas where it's showing through in the background. Just there, there. A little bit of the writing showing through there, some there, but mostly just up there. Look, you can just see it. So, include numbers somewhere on your page. Numbers, 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 numbers. Uh, add three focal images, the same one if you want three times. So, I've got three. These are Dina Wakely birdie stamps, I think. Those two definitely are. Yeah, that must be the third one. And then I've kind of coloured them. Um, add bold typography a quote or phrase. Heat. There you go. So that was done with a stencil with one of the white Signo uniball pens, the opaque ones. Because it's far too unique for me to have done that by hand. Um, include botanical elements. Yeah, botanical elements. So we've got some of those ephemera pieces from Tim Holtz. 
just added there just to add a little bit of um, florally kind of stuff in. Um, I've washi tape and paper strips so I've done that to create some ground for the birds to stand on which is another good little thing. I've stamped images or elements so what have I stamped? Oh, the three focal points obviously. Duh. And then add hand drawn or scribbled border. So again I've done my kind of barbed wire style border all the way around by hand. So heat is one of the words for inspiration considering we were supposed to be in the middle of summer. So yes. So again we'd probably yeah we'd only just moved into the new house um, when these were done so that's probably um, you know I'm probably operating on not all of my um, resources and supplies because they were probably still in boxes by that point I hadn't really unpacked. Okay so July was also the anniversary of man's stepping onto the moon, the 50th anniversary or 60th I can't remember which, 50th obviously I'm not that old because it was in 1969 um, and I was alive when it happened so yeah so it's 50 years so there we go so it was fly me to the moon let me play amongst the stars Frank Sinatra that was the mid-month mini mission song lyrics um, so open to interpretation so there is on this sheet a couple of collage elements there's the moon which is one separate item which has been stuck down the astronaut which is a separate element the galaxy background done by using it's on black card so the galaxy was created using distress oxide I'm going to sneeze <coughs> Ooh, excuse me um, distress oxide and then splattered with white paint over the top silver paint not white silver because it shines and then the planet up there was from my lunar stencil um, which is available on my website lunar one small step so 20th of the 7th 69 to 2019 there you go you can go back in there now okay so what we're doing now August 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 so quickly fuchsia buttermilk and violet and purple's not my favorite color I do use them when I need to um, words for inspiration breathe leap flow unite and desire so I obviously use the word flow first ingredient glue tissue and napkin fragments all oh, right okay so what I've done is I've taken the back from a three or, or two or three ply napkin stamped on the napkin then torn the napkin up and glued that down because I can feel the texture where that writing is so I've stamped onto tissue or a napkin and then glued them down uh, add paint colour with your fingers or hands so I've obviously used my fingers make match with circular objects I've used the eraser on a pencil dipped it into the paint and then daubed with silver and purple paint by the looks of things I can't remember every page that I do um, add handwritten journaling quote or text which I've done let your energy flow which also uses the word flow include textured or embossed card somewhere right so there's fragments of corrugated card stuck down and then I've added paint over the top with fingers to disguise them and then add doodles or scribbles I've created some kind of alien plants <laughs> growing out of those so it looks like rocky outcrops and I've also done them dangling down as well as on top so just kind of whimsical ones include glitter sparkle or include some glimmer sparkle or glitter so the silver paint so the silver paint splattered and silver paint that I've used with the eraser head all the way around and then add hand drawn or doodled botanical elements doodles or scribbles I've done doodles and scribbles around the outside look doodle circles and then there's the hand drawn botanical elements hand drawn or doodled botanical elements so there you go that was for August 
August. Which means this must be the mid-month mini mission for August. There's rain and there's a sunflower, so it's going to be I'm just sitting watching flowers in the rain. Yeah, by the move, I thought so. So again, so we've got that stamp, we've got the kind of white dandelion kind of head around it and then the rain coming down at an angle. Obviously the chicken wire reverse stencil, a couple of nice colours and then a, a quote from Pablo Picasso. Art washes away the soul, washes from the soul the dust of everyday life. Okay, not a lot more I can say about that one. Right, September. September's. So we've got rust, grey and verdigris. And then we've got Magic, Heartfelt Beauty, Explore and Wonder. Did I not use? I didn't. Didn't use one of the words for inspiration. Which is fine, you don't have to use them all. They're only there to inspire you. But if you've been inspired by what's on the page already, you don't need to use them. But Rust, Grey, Verdigris. Yes, Rust, Grey and Verdigris colour. And then the ingredients are Add Tone magazine fragments, image fragments. So what we've got in the background, there's obviously some fragments in the back. I can feel them, but I've gone over the top, painted over the top. So there must have been some kind of, it's almost like some kind of African pattern or African kind of like ethnic pattern from a cloth that's been put in the background. Add texture or structure paste, coloured which I have done with the Dina Wakely stencil. Those there, there and there, and that one up the top, and there's some more down here at the bottom. And I've used rust paste, the rusty paste from Viva Decor. Um, include a focal image. So we've got the owl popping out of the teacup. Add drips or spritz of water. So it looks as I've spritzed onto the verdigris and let that run down the page because it's pulled a little bit. You can see it just there. Make marks in your paint or paste. Mm. Can't see where I've done that. But I have ticked it. Include industrial or mechanical elements. Well we've got cogs. Uh, add paint with spatula or a flat edge. So again I must have scraped it and then spritzed it. And then add quote, phrase or journaling. Well, would you like an adventure or would you like your tea first? A quote from Alice in Wonderland. And that was done on the 10th of September. September's. September's. Down through the leaves, the sunlight came in shafts of gold from Maggie Rogers. Beautiful, beautiful song. Absolutely beautiful song. So what I did was I created a page um, using, I think it was the Tim Holtz Birch stencil. Um, I must have gone over the page first with gold and copper paint, then went over the top, or have I gone through the stencil? No, I've gone through first with silver, I've gone over the entire page with silver. Then I've put the stencil down, and then I've gone through the stencil with copper and gold to create that shimmery kind of background. And then I've used the tattered leaves from Tim Holtz with Distress Oxides and water, wrinkled them, and I've added that kind of leafy border all the way around. Um, Autumn's Golden Gown, which is also um, a kind of paraphrase from Forever Autumn by Justin Hayward from the musical version of War of the Worlds. Um, through Autumn's Golden Gown, we used to kick our way. So I've kind of twisted, twisted it round and put Autumn's Golden Gown. So there you go. So two kind of phrases from songs in one there. All right, so October. So October's, the first one would have been the main Halloween-y kind of version. So slime, slime, but purple and damp earth. So those were the three colors. Raven was the word that I've taken. So glue tone fragments of book or music text. Yeah, you can see them all in the background, pieces of book text all stuck down. Stamp with ink or paint. Well, I've stamped all the um, cobwebs. I've stamped the border with the skulls on, and there's also a raven stamp on there. There's two also down at the bottom there. 
um, add stitch or staples, where I've stapled the phrase on, embrace the crazy. Include a focal point or two or three. A focal point is the witch. Um, include a frame or border of your choice. So again, I've used that kind of barbed wire down the sides because I've already got those two bits at the top. There was no need to do another one. Add phrase, quote or journaling by hand. Well, this is actually a stamp, but it's a stamp created by me, designed by me, produced by Indigo Blue, but it's my handwriting. So theoretically, <laughs> I am journaling by hand. And then add small elements of sparkle or shine. Well, if you look at the background, I know it said small elements of sparkle or shine, but I think I've gone way over the top on that one. But, you know, I've just created my... Yeah. Why not? When you're in the mood, do it. Okay, so this is the other version of the October Mission Inspiration. So this is the non-Halloween version. Burgundy, ochre, olive green. So we've got fall, warmth, thankful, blessed and harvest. Gluton fragments of books or music text. So it's exactly the same ingredients, just different words and different colours. So you've got book or music text. You can see that down at the bottom. You can see the words. Um, stamp with ink or paint. So I've stamped all that leaf pattern all the way around. Add doodles, entangles and scribbles. But if you notice the silver droplets, stitches and staples, but you can see the back. I've actually stapled all with copper staples all the way around to create a border. Um, include a focal point or two or three. Well, there's my rainy day fairy in there. Again, these images are available. There's half a dozen or so, I think, on the set of the rainy day fairy in different colours, different wings, available on the website if you're interested in purchasing these images. Um, add phrase quote or journaling by hand. The sound of falling rain is a lullaby to my soul. Again, another one of my quotes. Um, and then add small amounts of sparkle or shine. Again, we've got shine from the staples, but also shine from the doodle. So I did combine two lots again and created that second version for October, which is why there isn't a mini for October. I think I remember rightly, it was Elvis, um, something to do with devils or angels. I'll put it on the screen here. I'll find the October mid-month mini and I'll put it on the screen here. And I never did it. I never got around to doing it. I don't know why. Anyway. Let's move on. October, so November. So, November 2019. We've got the colours pecan, sage and teal. And then we've got sky equal leap, montage and reflect. Or reflect. Reflect as in look back. Or reflect as in a reflection in water. You can take your pick. Um, so the ingredients were add textures through a stencil, yes, so the bubbles up there are done using my crop circle stencil. Make marks with something unusual, don't ask me, can't remember what the unusual, hello, Mr Floppy is, Mr Bentley getting out of bed. Include an animal, fish, bird or bird on your page, well I've got three. They're from the bird cage. Caged bird bigs die from Tim Holtz. Done three times and just flipped on Tim Holtz paper. Looks like a circuit board on the paper. Um, add paper card or circle cutouts somewhere. I've punched. I've used a hand punch and just punched out some circles and then added them to the page and then added grunge and dirt on top. Um, include washi tape. So the branches are created using Tim Holtz washi tape, or design tape, as he calls it. Divide your page into three sections. So we've created a triptych. Um, include, only include one single word on your page. Leap, leap, so that's what I've done. A leap of faith. And then apply paint or color with your fingers, which I must have done, probably. So I masked off, I was going, actually I should have erased those lines down the middle, shouldn't I? Which I won't do right now, but those lines should have come out. 
not whether they're showing up on the screen, but yeah, I should have erased those those lines, which were my dividers. But never mind. So yes, that was November's mission, the main mission. And then this was the mid-month mini for November. Yeah, kind of went to town on that one, didn't I? And look at the dimension on that. So, wooden heart, it's all blue and silver and shiny. Poinsettia's wooden heart with the wood grain, with the crackle grain on top. So I'm surprised it's actually all stayed stuck to the page and not fallen off. There's also wood grain, um, one of those texture deep embossing folders from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. And I've also put that wood grain in the background on black card or brown card by the looks of it. And then I added the crackle paint or crackle paste all over that too to get that kind of frosty, yeah. Song, ly song lyric again. See my heart so blue. One of the early songs. The butterflies. Yeah, just adds a nice little bit. Okay, December. So let's have a look at December's colour, berry, wood and pine. So we've got fir and woodland as the words of inspiration that I've obviously ringed. So fir, mist, woodland, feather and gather. Ingredients, add some texture with tissue or napkins, which is what I've done. So that's a napkin in the background with that tartan kind of plaid pattern. So that's been glued down. Use something wooden, well the heart. Again, that wooden heart. I know it's shiny, but I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Include oval or circular shapes. Now, where have I done that? Oh, there you go. Circular shapes, the berries, <laughs> for the leaves. Yeah. <clears throat> Use string, jute or twine. So we've got a piece there, which is a nice little bow which is nice. Add a little silver or gold and I've circled the gold. Right, so these laser cut words have been painted gold and then I've used clear embossing powder over the top and that's the same as the heart as well. So that's been painted gold and then clear embossing powder over the top. A couple of times to add like a varnish to it. I could have used glossy accents but I didn't. So include a photo of self or a family member. I know, enough said. And add something plaid or tan. Well, I did do that with the napkin in the background. And then include elements of lace. Look, this is from a doily. Paper doily, lace doily. So I added that down there. So we've got all that lovely kind of foliage coming through, wintry kind of foliage colours with a nice little red jute twine bow, Mr. Bentley, and then those lovely splatters just to hold it all together. So what did we, I've got woodland and fir look, fir and woodland. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then finally, um, the mid-month mini for December. I actually did two versions of the mid-month mini. I did one in my um, volume of the dolls using the Tim Holtz paper dolls and it was kind of similar. I did two very similar so let's see if we can find that one. There it is. So I kind of did that for the mid-month mini and filmed it but I realised it wasn't in the art journal so I went back a couple of days later and did another version for the art journal. So that was the original one, Dance Like No One's Watching and that was, let's just turn over and see, um, a star dancing in the night with a tail as big as a kite. I can't remember the song title for that one. A fairly famous song but I can't remember which one it was. So that's why I did those kind of prim stars with the tails hanging down, so kind of big ones. So another blue page, and that was in my volume of the dolls. But like I said, I did go back and create another one um, to add to my 
journal. So again using corrugated cardboard, painted silver, apart from the middle one which has been painted gold, and then there's some glitter bits. Piece of paper that's come off from somewhere. I'll have to be taken off or repainted. Um, so um, deep midnight blue, Dina Wakely midnight blue in the background. Silver paint or shine over the top. Look at that shine over the top. That is one of the interference luscious pigment powders from Indigo Blue. Um, obviously the silver blue one. Look at that. Um, and then splatters of gold over the top. And then I've used some of those industrial um, raised alpha stickers from Tim Holtz ideology and just put the word star so there you go that is 2019 and I never actually got round to colour or finishing the inside front cover or the back front cover which I probably will do one day maybe so like I said um, 2020 the mid-month missions are going to be done in art tags and the main mission inspiration is going to be done in my new hand sewn um, circle journal. Oh, I forgot what I was going to call it then. Now, when I first made this, people said to me, um, you only put 10 sheets in, 10 folded sheets. There's 12 months of the year. Yes, but you are forgetting that we have got the outers as well. So like I've done there, ready for February, I'll just carry on January, February, and then I'll do March in the center or on the, 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 the full one for on that page. So yeah. <laughs> There you go. Now then, um, so we're choosing random letters for the tag journal using the randomizer machine that Ian created for us. I'll just bring the randomizer machine back in again uh, because I know there was a couple of questions about that. So that's the randomizer machine. You, you turn it on, it spins, you turn it off and it picks a letter. Now that looks as though it's actually just pointing to the in between the um, the Q, so the O and the M, but that's the reason why we did it, the finger at an angle because it's actually pointing down into the square. So that one would have been M. If we do get two that were, or one that we've already done previously, then we'll spin it again. So like for January we did an S. If it lands on S again, then we'll just spin it again so that we don't get the same. There's 26 letters in the alphabet and only 12 months in the year. So why would we want to duplicate one? You know what I mean? So yes, fabulous machine. Love it. Thank you Ian for creating that for us. So yeah, so first January one was S and I chose the word salvaged like it so that's it for this video like i said i don't often do um a an art journal flip through um so i thought it would be nice to do that one for the mission inspiration for 2019 um and i'll do 2020 in 2021 <laughs> but um, i will continue on with my volume of the dolls art journal this is the altered book um that was the page that i did last no that was the page that i did last um, so yeah I will be ready to go on to the next page probably in the next day or so so I hope you've enjoyed that if you have please remember to give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video I'm now going to go and finish my coffee because it's been sat there getting cold see you all again very soon bye for now It is cold. Yuck. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.